Hello, we haven't done this in a while. It's time for a massive pickup video of junk we've picked up over months. Yeah, that long. A massive pickup video of Doom. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we just haven't done one in a while. We were talking about, we we're like, you know what, we have, we should do a pickup video, definitely. Before we organize and put everything away and don't know what we got from where. Yep. And that was the logic. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. So yep. I don't even know where to start. We got so much random stuff. Um, I'll start. Okay. So the other day we went to a flea market. And we had okay stuff. We got a few things. First thing I picked up, and I hemmed and hawed about it, the Yellow Ranger. It's been open, and she's missing her tattoo, the rub-on tattoo that would have came with it. There it goes. And she's got some wear, so I know she was played with. Mm -hmm. The only reason I bought it was, I don't know if you can see, she's still got her weapons. She's got her guns and both of her little um, daggers. That's the main reason I bought it, because I still have my original one. So, you know, I'm not going to get rid of this, my original one to get this one. Right. But... It was like five bucks, which I thought was decent for the weapons because you know those were the first things that went was the weapons. <laughs> so that was my first pickup from the flea market of Doom. Bum, bum, bum. I gotta remember what my first pickup was. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it was this in the PSP game. So looking outside. I have this little UMD and it is Dissidia Final Fantasy Duo Decum. So he wanted like a dollar for it. So I thought, well, that's pretty decent. Just was UMD loose. Mm -hmm. And then I got this nondescript white case. Which has the best stuff usually. Yep. And so I got the awesome Ben 10 Protector of Earth and the UDraw Studio game disc. So, no, we don't have the U draw pad. Yeah, well, you know, just gotta keep an eye on. Yeah, that is true. So, Both in really good shape. I think it was like a dollar yeah. also, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a dollar. He pretty much said this box is a dollar, the games are a dollar unless they're marked otherwise, and this was yeah. there. I don't know if he knew there were two games in it or not, but I was like, hey, two games. And yeah, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. So, yeah, so. yeah. we have a table full of junk. <laughs> not junk, it's our we have a table full of treasure. Better. Okay. That's better. Thank you. Something else. I picked up a couple games when we were there also. And then there's like this room back off in the corner. And I found a guy had, was selling a, a Game Boy. I didn't want the Game Boy. I got a couple. But I found a couple games. I don't know if you can see them. I found Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, and then one called... Kenobi, Wings of Adventure. Ooh. I have not tried it. I don't know what it is, but I took a chance. So, that was my great, great find. I think he was also the one that had these. He had a couple uh, N64 cartridges. Which I don't know if I can get a close one for you to see. The new Tetris and Wave Race 64. Mm -hmm. Just cool. I don't know if we have Wave Race. I do not remember. If not, that's really cool, because that's a fun game. That's what I was thinking. The water was so realistic back in 96 or whenever that came out. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, is it akin to Hydro Thunder? Yeah, except you're on jet skis. Okay, so like Jet Moto, except they're not hover skis. I, don't, I can't remember playing Jet Moto, but... That was like hover skis, hover skis essentially, because you weren't on water, you were like hovering. Yeah, yeah but awesome. basically you had like five or six tracks, and you had to go between buoys and race and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. I'm sorry. All right. Well, the next thing I found at the flea market, actually, I guess, would have been this and wherever the other one went. Oh, my goodness. Are you going to schnoozle again? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, there it is. All the I dust. found... <laughs> Pack World 2 for the PS2, which needs a bath. Oh my gosh, the disc needs a bath. They were like 
two for five dollars, so these were two fifty a piece. I don't know what the dude got on that. Though. I mean, Ew. I don't know if it'll show or not. It looks like somebody dumped a can of soda on it. Yeah, like, so I don't think it's soda. Show. It's chunkier than soda. Oh, and you and really smell. You sniffed it, really. Well, it's been months, so it's not like it's going to jump at me. <laughs> no. And then I got Empire Total War for the PC. Like I said, they were two for five, so it was $2.50 a piece, which was probably worth it for Empire by itself, so Pack World is dead. Well, no, I like It the wasn't pick. a big loss. I really like the first one. And we have the first one, so you know, if this one cleans up and plays nice, it'll be really cool. You know, I have it on the PC, I think, now that I think about it. Well, yeah. But I don't really care to play games on the PC too much, so that's okay. Let's see. So I am completely fine with that. Whatever you're looking at, you're keeping somewhere so we know we've already, <laughs> we're not going to start looping because everything's still on the table. We might. <laughs> I picked this up at a Goodwill. Yes, it says real fishing. I know. I don't know how exciting it's going to be. I'll be honest, it's a Natsume game. And that's one of the only reason I picked it up because I really like Natsume. Mm -hmm. And not like I'm a hardcore collector, but if I see the games, I usually pick them up because... They're good company. I think I picked up a sports game because it was not Sumi too. The skydiving. We found a skydiving yeah. game somewhere. We have not tried it yet. It was like yet. a moving house sale. Yeah, it was like a house moving sale. We haven't tried it yet, but it was literally a skydiving game by, made by not Sumi. I'm like, really? <laughs> it just seems so odd to me. So, I had to pick up another not Sumi game because they're just awesome. Yep. And then something else I found at the flea market, and they were... A dollar, a couple dollars, maybe four dollars a piece in these little bags. Or some little uh, Cyberverse Legion class figures. And it's funny because this one, let's see, I thought originally was Soundwave. But I just transformed him and I think he was Jazz from the first movie. And then I got this one, which is an older one, but it, I think it's Jazz. So I've got like two Jazzes. Cool. And then... Legion class brawl from the first movie. Hmm. Your collection was missing jazzes, right? Yeah, you can never have enough jazzes. Yeah, his face looks very jazz like. And all that jazz. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we may get kicked off YouTube for the use of jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> never. So, a while back we went to V-Stock, which, if you're not familiar with the area, is kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a game store, bookstore, music store, kind of all shoved together. And they had a sale, actually on the 4th of July, it was a 4th of July sale. And I got to pick up. Is that not awesome? <laughs> yeah, it was like um, in their cheap bin and toys yes. were on sale and stuff. Yes, I was very excited. Because I wanted a, an original one for a while. Because he went to a convention last year and got me a reissue. Mm -hmm. of the yeah, I got the Mecca mm -hmm. redo. No, I mean, this thing is dirty and it's been through a few battles from the looks of it. But you know what? It's orange. It's my favorite color and it's cool. So it'll look good on the shelf mm -hmm. after I give it a little bath. Yep. That am true. It doesn't stand up very well, but that's mm. okay. I'm not sure they were meant to. Well, and let's see. Also at the flea market, I found... Tigertron, which I have to figure out how to transform. No, Tigerhawk. That was Tigertron. Wasn't it, it was Tigertron before he went. It was Silver. It was, oh, what was it? It was Tigertron is the tiger, and it was like the hawk was um, Air, Razor. Air Razor. And then when they came back from the alien planet, it was Tigerhawk because they were like fused into oh, one. Okay, well, sorry, Tigerhawk. <laughs> you needed a little history on Beast Wars. I'm sure that's what you needed. <laughs> ah, no, not the mistle. No. Well, oh, good, because I can't figure out how to shoot it. No. Ha! No. no. That still wasn't it. Okay. It's you're safe. Only, it's the only one left. Don't lose it. No. Here, you're safe. I really can't figure out how to shoot the missile. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> but I think we ran out of stuff. You don't see the table. <laughs> <laughs> My table pile is lower, so you got to go next again. Well, this is kind of middle stuff, so it's oh, kind okay. of open for everybody. Okay. So, we went to Toys R Us. 
and they were having a sale on some of their games because I guess I was Toys R Us and they randomly get rid of stuff. There was one I wish we would have picked up and we didn't because they had like certain color dots for like 75% off. And for the Wii U, they had a copy of um, Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. So it would have been like 20 bucks. So I couldn't decide if it was clearance because it was Wii U or because it sucked on the Wii U. So I never actually picked it up. Mm. It might still have it. I don't know. We haven't been to lately. Yeah. But I picked up a couple DS games to add to my collection. Rise of the Guardians. Chocolatier. And a random, random game. <laughs> I haven't tried it. Rainbow Island Revolution. It looks like a little platformer. And I like platformers, so... It was right up yeah. my alley to get. Platformers are usually good. Usually. <clears throat> I got some eyeball platformers, so mm -hmm. it looks like it'll be fun to add to the collection. Yeah. Probably not my weirdest one, but you never know. Uh, this is a list of games, and probably they were almost all from a friend. But yes. that's pretty cool. So, Duke Nukem Forever for the PC. Oh, get some. Which I think I've actually got on the... Uh, 360, I think. Yeah, you get the redo. Anyway, yeah, you get the redo. Now we got Aliens vs. Predator. These are from PC. our friend Patrick. A copy of Ultima Online, which I think I've already got, but hey, you know. I don't know. MechWarrior Vengeance, which I don't know if that's MechWarrior 4. Oh, yep, MechWarrior 4. That's cool. Command and Conquer, Red Alert 2. Ooh. So you're like in our space or something? McWarrior 3, Pirate's Moon. That I don't know, because there was like Command and Conquer, and then there was like the Red Alerts, and I don't really know the difference, because... And for Battle for Doom, there was a... That looks interesting. <laughs> no, I wonder if it actually came out. I don't know. I'd have to look that up. It's neat. It looks like there was like a Dune game. Huh. Let's look that one up. Let's see. MechWarrior 3. And then this one says MechWarrior 3. So. Oh, there's two MechWarrior 3s in there? Well, this says Expansion Pack, but the disc doesn't say Expansion oh, Pack. Oh, so maybe it's they're backwards. Like, they might be backwards. Oh, I hit the microphone. Huh. So, yeah, that's, I think, all the PC games. I think. Now we've just about run out. Totally. Found some random yard sale finds. Found a copy of Toy Story 3. Are you sure? Did you look? Okay, it's really Toy Story 3. Yeah. Everything else was in a different case. That's why I thought we should check True. on True. And we got the case for Ratchet and Clank. But it has... Patapon 2 in it, which I'm very excited for. I love Patapon because I got a demo that I've played over and over again on my Vita, but a few years ago we had a break-in and somebody stole my PSP so I can't actually play it. <laughs> so I have a game I'm excited yeah. for that I can't play, which is stupid. I, the PSP irritated me, which is mm -hmm. stupid that I'm excited that I got a game for it. Like, there were some couple good games that I really, really liked on there, but overall, why make a handheld with a disc in it that just didn't make sense. Yeah, the one kind of system you don't want excessive loading times on, you have excessive loading times because you have a disc-based yeah. system. It's like, okay, I'm going to start this game. Let's sit you down and go make a sandwich and come back. And then I have the case for Loco Roco 2 with Loco Roco in it. <laughs> yeah, which probably means earlier in the day there's a PSP they sold with Loco Roco 2 in it. Probably. <laughs> I really like Roco. Have you ever played Loco Roco? Uh, and that, like, the ball of ink that goes through the maze or something like that. Yeah. Awesome and annoying all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. and Spiral, A New Beginning. Yay! That is really cool. Although I think this is the first one where they had the, di the dragonfly talking, and I hated Spock's talking. Because <laughs> it always means like an idiot. Yeah. All right, well, Next. we've got for the Xbox. We bought that over at, we bought this next game over at uh, V-Stock also. Got it the same day, for the July. Loons, the 
fight for fame. Yes, it is a fighting Looney Tunes game. Yeah. You know how you come across a game and you're like, I have to get that just because? Mm -hmm. This is one of them. Because I had never heard of it, and I'm like, huh. And this was a Goodwill find, and it had $2 on it, which I guess was the yard sale price. So I guess we ended up paying 6 Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. All intact, both discs and really everything. Really good condition. I think it's manual, nice. too, doesn't it? Yeah, it's complete. Awesome. Or maybe may not. No. All right, missing a manual, but you got the, the case, both games, in yeah. pretty decent shape and everything, so. That's half the good. battle. Can't complain. Mm -mm. That was a really good point. We also got for the PlayStation, Duke Nukem. Time to kill. Hmm. Which looks like it might have gotten in the same stuff that that uh, Pac World got into. Yeah, it looks like they sat the disc of Pac Man on the back of Duke Nukem. <laughs> what it looks like. Yep, and then. You wanna I wa do you want to smell this one too? No, I'm good. Okay. You can smell it. No, I'm good. Then uh, I took a friend up to Game Busters in Granite City because she hadn't been and got some stuff. And I got a uh, new game for my recently acquired Master System, Hang On and Safari Hunt, which I didn't pay attention to, and that's a light gun game, but I don't have a light gun yet. <laughs> but that's okay, because I got Hang On, so it gives me three or four games for it now. Hang On. Is that like a... Motorcycle racing. Oh, okay. They are hanging on for dear life. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so up by <laughs> us, there's a store called Savers. It's kind of like Goodwill. Mm -hmm. More or less, Goodwill. Except more random than Goodwill. Because apparently they don't check anything. Which, if you watch um, Pixel Dan at all, when he did his big pickup video that he found all that vintage stuff at, that was the same Savers. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's all at. I know it's in the St. Louis metro area for sure. Yeah. But it's weird because, like, you go to Goodwill, at least around here on the hottest for all places, and they actually check their stuff. So they're kind of aware of what they're charging. Savers is random. So you go in there and they have like bags on hooks. And I got one here that you can see. It's a bag. And they'll put a random stuff in there. And it'll be like a boy's toy bag. But you might have a vintage G1 Transformer and then a bunch of McDonald's toys shoved together. Mm -hmm. It's that random. Yeah, or like one of those little like adventure people. Or not adventure people, but you know, the little... You can say adventure people. They'll know what you mean. Whatever the little, little toys Price. are for kids. Little you Fisher know. Price dudes. Yeah. They're like the little hole so they sit on pegs and cars and stuff. Yeah. For little, little, little people. Kids. I think they're called little people, aren't they? You might be right. But we found a couple grab a couple of these bags and they had a, there were vintage Voltrons peoples in there. Hagar and Lotar. Lotar, thank you. And Hunk. Punk, right? Am I getting my shows confused? Punk or Lunk? I can't remember. I Most tend, shows at the time had to have the heavy set dopey guy. I tend to get the uh, this one and the one from uh, G Force mixed up. Wow. I tend to mix them up. Well, you know, I, I, I never saw them at the same place at the same time. They could be the same guy. True, and I don't know who this one is. It's a Robies. Oh, it's one of the Robies. Okay. Which I thought was pretty cool. Okay. I found a vintage pony or a. I think somebody on the Toy World Order group said it was a G2. I don't remember her name. <laughs> but I thought it was cool. Trixie Rainbow Dash Sprinkle Butt. <laughs> With stars. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's who that one is. Of Doom? Of Doom. Because she's a unicorn. Right. Okay. There you go. And then there were and these we picked up. I can't say if I'm going to keep them or not, but they were... They're the cassettes, the read-along cassettes, but there was He-Man and She-Ra, Princess of Power. Which is really cool to see with the book and the cassettes, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. We picked those up. And then Savers also had a box, or a bag of random manuals. Yeah, Sorry. I keep, I keep beating up the microphone. I can't help it, it's right here. And they had... Donkey Kong Land 3 for the Game Boy. Tetris DX. 
the manual for a Game Boy Color. Now we have to get a Game Boy Color. We don't actually have one? Nope. Oh my gosh. Super Mario Land and the Game & Watch Gallery too. Now we've got a uh, Game Boy Light and the original Game Boy and then we go to the advances. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yep. So we're missing a color. And I guess a little micro or whatever if you ever want one of those things. Hmm. Or no, that's a Game Boy Advance micro. Never mind. I guess we're just, for the normal Game Boys, I guess we're just missing the color. Oh, huh, good to know. Our One of our local stores, Kmart, was closing. Mm -hmm. They're dying slowly. Yeah, so you know, 20-30% off the store kind of thing. And I picked up Jack Skellington from my Disney Infinity. Mm -hmm. So that he can fight the Avengers. Maybe he can join them. Ooh, Jack Skellington, the Avenger. What would his power be? Um, bringing Christmas to the bad guys. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> but I was happy to kick him. I wanted to pick him up for a while, so finding him on clearance, you know, was a good price. I've really kind of been surprised with the Infinity, because a friend got it for me for Christmas. She's like, do you want it? It's cheap. I'm like, sure. <laughs> and then I was like, this is awesome. So I've been pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with Infinity. So I'm really excited to get uh, the uh, Avengers one when it comes out. Marvel, not Avengers, mm -hmm. Marvel, when it comes out later in the year. So shall I go through a stack of games? Yes. or? All right, I shall go through a stack of games because we have had lots of games. So first off for the NES, we've got Bomberman, which is really awesome. Hard, but fun. I got a copy of Gyromite, um, which I got at Game Busters because a friend actually gave us this that I never owned before, and I didn't have the game for it, so I couldn't even see if it worked. So I had I went ahead and got a Gyromite, which I hardly ever see, and then bought it, and then I've seen like five copies since. It's, <laughs> it's so funny. I know it's like every two I turn around, it's like. Er, you know, Toy Man, you can find games now. There are four or five people that will consistently bring video yeah. games. And I swear almost all of them had Gyromite. I know. It, it was, was so, so funny. funny. And then our Toys R Us sale, I got SSX for the PS3, which, which is March 1999, but it was green, which meant it was, what, 70% off? Well, so this was, was like $5? No, it was free because I had $5 oh, off. Those there are free you go. Game. It was $5. We had a $5 off coupon that they worked with the sale. So this was technically free. Yeah, our Toys R Us is awesome because if you get the right cashier that doesn't exactly care, mm -hmm. they kind of make stuff work for you. It's kind of yeah. nice. And then we uh, have a friend who will play games and then kind of trade them in. She's just not into collecting. She just likes to play. Um, she got this and kind of got tired of it and was going to trade it in. Figured she wouldn't get any credit for it. And I didn't have it yet, so we got Lollipop Chainsaw. Which is fun because mm -hmm. we played it with her for a while. Yeah, it's a Suda game. And they're usually really kind of out there fun. Suda? Yeah, like Suda51. He does a lot of really kind of off-the-ball, oh, wall kind of games. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got Jimmy Neutron for the PS2. Attack of the Twonkies. It doesn't sound right. Our friend Patrick found this. It is still sealed. Factory sealed. It was 25 cents. Lego Star Wars 2 for the Game Boy Advance. That's cool. Yeah, the box is a little smushed, but I think it was still some cool factory sealed. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it never got open. Hard saying. And for the PS1, we got Jersey Devil. Never heard of it, took a chance on it, because I was like, eh. And this was, what, another Savers? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like we'd heard of it, but not no, enough to really know for sure what it was from. Mm -hmm. But it sounded like we should buy it. That was the Mark of Cree. I think uh, Metal Jesus was talking about one of his videos. Oh, could be. If I remember correctly. And then, I don't know, is this a Goodwill find? Probably. I don't know. The PC Age of Empires Gold Edition, which is kind of funny, because now that I think about this, I may have a copy of this somewhere, too. I, I've got, like, a crap ton of uh, PC games in a trunk over here that aren't even listed in our game list yet we need to work through. And when he says trunk, it's a trunk. It's like... Like, what are those old school kind of size of, like, trunks you would go, like, to travel with? Like, you'd put clothes on, like you see on a train kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's about that size full of PC games. Yeah. And was, they're all pretty much in jewel cases. Yeah. There's at least a few hundred in there. Yeah. 
No, and some of them go back to Windows 3.1. Yeah. At all least you, you finally separate all the floppy games, at least over there. Yeah, like Commodore 64 stuff. But, I yeah. guess some of that we should list, because it does have some cartridges. I, I have not even remotely tried <coughs> enlisting the PC games at all, because, yeah, that's just kind of... Yeah. I have not had the nerve to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've got some box to complete, then I've got some just jewel cases. and yeah, all those things. That's then there's a Commodore 64 behind the camera, and it's got a few cartridges and a lot of floppies. PC games are weird <clears> to me because it's like, I have enough trouble trying to figure out how to categorize when we inventory our games, let alone doing PC games. I don't know why. I guess because I don't really play a whole lot of PC games. Mm -hmm. It just boggles my head to try and figure well, out. I don't know. For many years, I was a PC gamer before I got into consoles. Well, you know, when I had my old gateway, I played PC games a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had like a few that I really, really liked, but then a friend sold me a Mac and then I can't play PC games. Because why well, Mac? So well, you could if you were willing to jump through some rigmarole. True, but I'm not willing to go through that. I'm on a hard drive space the way it is anyway. Yeah. So video editing and takes up spaces. Yeah. Um, we were at a Goodwill, and I found these two games, and I was originally bought them specifically to take Toy Man. I'll be honest. But then after I got them home and the more I was thinking about them, I decided I wanted to keep them at least for a while because I tend to like bad stuff. <laughs> and I grew up playing all those because I had like a NES and stuff, but I always played the handheld Tiger Electronics because mm -hmm. I didn't have a Game Boy until I was older. Don't know why. I just didn't. So I, was, so I got, got used to having those old, bad handhelds. But these are older than that. Um, I thought it was really kind of cool. It still works. I took it out. I played with it. It's actually, when you open it up, it's actually still got its original styrofoam in the bottom. In the box. Mm -hmm. In the box. Yeah. Works perfectly fine. What I think is funny, too, is if you look at the sticker on it, I don't know if it'll show up that well. Let's go with the white lines. It is from Dolgen. Which I don't know if you remember, was an old department store I chain, like in maybe the 70s or 80s. I've never heard of it. I don't even know if it's showing up. But I, I haven't mean, seen one of those stickers in forever. I've never heard of Dolgen's. This was originally twenty nine ninety seven. Well, actually, it was thirty nine ninety seven, and it was on sale for twenty nine ninety seven. And then there was also, I picked up Pinball, which I have not actually tried the Pinball one yet. This one's weird. It takes a 9-volt and then, like, four double A's. Or, no, like... 2Ds in the 9 volt. It's weird. This one was actually from Kmart. Hmm. Got a Kmart sticker on the top corner. Hmm. But again, you take it out, it's got a styrofoam. Looks brand it's new. Like take actual... Yeah, that one takes power. This one doesn't have an AC adapter. Takes three double A's and a 9 volt. So I didn't have enough batteries to try it when I first opened it. But the other one worked, so I didn't have a reason to assume this one wouldn't, considering. You know, looks like maybe they belong. I mean, the boxes are in good shape, so I'm assuming it belonged to, like, I would assume, like, an adult. It wasn't, like, a kid's thing. It's in good think. shape. I mean, they were... I, it's kind of funny what you'll find at a Goodwill. Yeah. Which is funny, because there's a Goodwill, what, dot com? Yeah. Which is, like, an eBay auction site where the really choice stuff, like, you know, like, like brand new in-the-box PS3 comes through. They know that's worth more than, like, $5 to throw in a store. So they'll put that on the website and have people bid on it like eBay. So a lot of the collectible stuff you'll find on the website. So that gets filtered out first. And then I don't know if they go through the troughs at the collection site. And then yeah. they get to a store or how it goes through there. No. But, but by the time it gets to a Goodwill, you, you have to go and figure. It's probably been filtered through a couple tiers of at least. stuff. That was interesting. I didn't tell you last time we went to Goodwill, there was a box I saw. It was probably a good foot tall box. It had a robot in it, like an old, you buy it, Radio Shack, kind of like from the 80s, yeah. 70s, hmm. like remote controlled robot. It was cool. I don't know if it worked. It was kind of expensive, but it was like, huh, that's hmm. neat to look at, you know? Cool. Something else we found at a Goodwill, and we didn't know what it was. So, of course, being... I thought it was a record. It was with the records. Yeah. Never heard of it. Thank you. Kensington. Kensington. <clears throat> Thank you. I got short arms. <laughs> it was in with the record, so it was like a dollar. Mm -hmm. But you open it up, and it's actually a board game. Yeah. It's like 
got pieces in it. And you pull it out, and there's the game board. Yeah, and, where the record would be is a game board. Yeah. It's very, very odd, because we're like, is it a read-along game? I mean, it was very odd. No, I saw a lot of text on it talking about the game and all that stuff, but it's actually a board game. Yeah, which is kind of neat to add to the collection. Yeah. I haven't tried playing it yet, but pretty cool. Something different. Yep. We're all about different. <laughs> Yep, and then he kind of almost got buried under stacks of video games here, but this was the last thing I got at the flea market. Oh, yeah. Which I've seen from this vendor at some Toy Man's, and I keep putting it off, but it was such a cool one, I finally just bit the bullet and bought it. <sighs> Willpower can only last so many shows. But it's a GoBot, and it's Manowar, who turns into a battleship. Wow, he's got a decent name. Mm -hmm. He's not like battle ship ship battle. Yeah. Man of War. It's actually a cool name for a GoBot. Yeah, I think he's pretty cool. He looks really nice, too. He's got some pretty decent detail on there and hmm. stuff. He's actually pretty decent. That I'm thinking really I'll have nice. to set him up with Broadside and uh, Dive Dive. Broadside's a transformer that turns into an aircraft carrier. It's about that I'm long. assuming a Dive Dive is another GoBot. It's a GoBot, yeah. He turns into a, a nuclear submarine. So I got like a little fleet going. I guess you couldn't even wee or re or so I guess it had to be dive dive. <laughs> yeah, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's it, whoop, whoop. Yeah, whoop, 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 the, the GoBot <laughs> submarine. That would have been so much better than dive dive. Because <laughs> yeah. in my head I have the voice of, uh, oh, uh, from Transformers, Rectar, or Wheelie, in my head going, dive, dive. <laughs> and that's when you said that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's a little late. <laughs> this will be a fun video. We have to film either, well, when the toddler's asleep or when he's a grandma. So right now it's he's asleep and it's late because we filmed a few things before this. Yes. So, so if it shows... But we're only down to like SD. five or six things now, so we're almost... So hopefully end. you've been enjoying our comedy relief here. Yeah, or, <laughs> or you're watching this at late at night and you're asleep. Yeah, so you're... In which case, thanks for snoring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we can be kind of boring and rambling. Well, that's good if they're trying to sleep. That's true. We'll keep them in a nice, mm -hmm. nice pace. Yep. Picked up a Genesis game. Animaniacs. Yeah, which I think we have on the Super NES, but I've, from what I understand, the versions are different. So I'm we decided to pick it up. And if it's a double, well, you know, you figure out which label looks better on the cartridge and, nice. you, and you trade off the other one. Sure Genesis are way back there in the corner. Oh, that would be why. I'll show you where the Super NES games were. I think they're over there too. <laughs> oh, I play or most. Over here. No, that's my or Atari. Over there. I play a lot of NES and Atari. They must be over there then. We actually don't have a huge Super NES. I, I kind of I have a big gap. I either play NES, Atari, or DS. Those are like my three. <laughs> so I know where those three groups yeah. are, and the rest of them I'm like when I have to go out of my way to look for them. I know we've got a Vita, and I keep laughing because it's like this really beautiful, high powered handheld, and we've only got like two games for it. But I play a lot of the download games, because it really does have a lot of download games on there. Yeah. Which, I mean, I usually play the silly ones, but the screen is beautiful. It really redeemed me on the whole PlayStation handheld thing. Yeah. Cause, so I kind of wish a lot of the Vita games would come out. Or, not Vita. PSP games would come out on it. But so far, a lot of the ones that I like are not on there. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of annoying. But it is what it is. So... Another Goodwill find. Goodwill. Yeah, apparently they're popular Goodwill. Yeah, I went to Goodwill one morning this week, and they had just gotten these in the day before. They are boxed. 2,600 games. No. Odyssey. Odyssey. Sorry, Odyssey. I can read, I swear. Remember when I said it was late? <laughs> it is after midnight as we're recording this. You're usually asleep by 10. We've been Good. chasing a two-year-old around all day. They are awesome. They were three dollars a piece. Manual box, complete in box, and cartridge. Mm -hmm. Complete in box. Oh. For the most part, they look brand new, except for a piece of tape that kept them closed. Yeah, and I mean, we did not pick up every one they had because, you know, a lot of them were sports games too. Things here, so, it's three. They were three dollars a piece. You know, we did not pick up the sports games because they're sports games. 
you know. Well, they suck now, and they were worse back then because you didn't have any graphics or anything. Well, with them. as far as like wanting in box, it's way cooler to have. Okay, I'm not a sports person in the least to begin with, but if I'm gonna have a box, it's cooler to have like space boxes, you know. I'm not enough of a completionist that I gotta have in box sports teams. I'm good mm -hmm. with the 50 cent cartridge I find somewhere. Yeah. That's just me, though. But I love the artwork on the boxes. I think that's part of what Odyssey and stuff is neat is the artwork on them. Yep. Hopefully those price tags come off easy. They should. Well, these are shiny. So, you know, glossy surfaces usually come off pretty clean. Mm -hmm. And last but not least. Did you cover your two Ranger things? I did not. Okay, okay, sort of not last so, but not least. So almost last to next. Wait, next to last. Next to next is fine. Anyway, this is from the same Goodwill. It was video game day at that Goodwill. Because I go in there and the glass case they had the Odyssey games. I go in back and, you know, they got their electronics thing and there's nothing there. And I'm kind of walking through the toy aisle, toy aisle. Not really anything there. And then they have like these three tier, like, wheel little racks they bring out. Mm -hmm. So some guy wheels that out and it's stacked like this high with DVDs and stuff. So I go through that. A little bit anyway, because I was kind of hungry or whatever, so I was going to come home. And I find a PS2. A nice, slim PS2. With one, two controllers, and it's power brick. And it's AV cables, AVI. And the AV cable, which we've got like five of, because we have way too many Sony systems. But... I found another PS2 somewhere, and I bought it, and I didn't realize that the Slim has a proprietary cable, so that's why I got this one. It was $12 for everything, which I thought was a pretty decent deal. Yeah, it really is. So technically, this is our third PS2 Slim we have now, but we got two cables, so that's okay. That makes something tradable or toy showable so or something like odd that. odd how we end up with Sony stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not that huge of a Sony person. We seem to just, like, we're attracted to the stupid PS1s and 2s. It's like they come out of the woodwork for some reason for us. Yeah, well, we're not a fan of some of the hardware, but they got the games. As... Yeah, they do. Sony got game. <laughs> Last thing is something that you actually picked up for me from a Target. Mm -hmm. Was they were starting to clearance off their Power Ranger stuff. So he picked me up a couple of little standalone the Delta Runners or and the uh, Dragon Mystic Dragon Lord. I thought they were pretty cool. Hmm? I'm glad they're starting to clear some out. Not bad for like seven bucks. Both of those no. together were the full normal price for one of them. Yeah, there actually are local targets starting to clear and off some of the uh, toothless stuff too. Toothless, how to train your dragon stuff. Yeah. Which, if they ever clear and stuff, I might pick up. I got a Mothra figure hanging from the ceiling, and I think Toothless hanging there with Mothra would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. So it's, I think that's it. That's from the last few months. Yeah. There's some miscellaneous randomness that's already been put away, so it didn't make it in the video, but nothing, like, <gasps> exciting, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just remember, everything we found here is a flea market, yard sale, Goodwill, Savers, thrift yeah. store, toy yeah. show. I mean, as far as the games were concerned, I, I want to say the PS2 at $12 was the most expensive thing we've bought. Yeah. I want to say everything else was $2, 3 50 cents, 2 for 5 I bucks. might have paid close to 10 for Bomberman. But mm -hmm. how often do you see Bomberman with the box? Right. You know, especially yeah. the original one. So, you know, keep digging and looking and you, you'll find stuff. Mm-hmm. My Jack was probably up there too, but that's a newer thing. But yeah, it's, we don't even, we're not motivated enough to go out early for yard sales though. Mm -hmm. We just, we can never quite get in that rhythm. So we kind of get the I blame the two-year-old. What was your excuse before the two-year-old? Aliens. <laughs> aliens, okay, we'll go with aliens. So I could poof my hair up like that guy from Ancient Aliens. <laughs> I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Yes, I could poof your hair up like that. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll cosplay him at the next convention. 
I wonder what Chris would say if you showed a toy man like that. I don't. It depends whether people would realize who I was cosplaying. I guess. <laughs> Although that hair is pretty unmistakable. It was like he looks like a what a um, Centaurin from Babylon yes. Five. Yes. 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 A Centaurin. So. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our video. Sorry it was kind of long and rambling, but we had fun with it. Mm -hmm. Just some of our stuff uh, that we picked up here and there randomly. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, like I said, keep digging and looking. You'll be surprised what you can find. And if it's cheap and it's something you already have, then, you know, sometimes it's good to get because it's a double. You can trade or barter mm -hmm. or sell or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. We don't do that very often, but there's some stuff, especially if they're cheap enough games at yard sales, we'll do that with. And no, well, yeah, part of our problem is we have a database of games, but it's behind. <laughs> Look, no. when I say behind, we the only thing listed on there is the Jaguar console. The games yeah. never made it on there. That's how behind the list. Yeah, is. I've got like <laughs> half the library of Jaguar games made, and none of them are on the <laughs> For list. For the sixty-four, that was funny when you. <laughs> yeah, the sixty-four is listed. Not the games. Yeah. Yeah. Which is okay, because I, I can't say other than actual mom and pop game stores, I've never seen a Jaguar game or a hint of a Jaguar anywhere else. You don't but... see 64 games that often either. Oh, no. They actually are popping up. You, they're they're non-sports games? Them? Non-sports ones? Oh, no. We were just like games. We didn't say good ones. But, okay. yeah, the, you see the sports games a lot. Okay, fair People enough. People can't give them away. It's kind of funny. True. If you ever want to complete a collection of whatever, we just got to say the sports games for last because we can spend $5,000 on the good games and then like $10 <laughs> to get all the sports games. Yeah, that's true. I figure in another few years, people will start giving you sports games with any purchase <laughs> <laughs> just to clear them out. Probably. but Probably in 30 years, they'll be the most rare games. Yeah, because nobody will want Because nobody will buy them now. Nobody can sell them, so they'll throw them away and then... 30 years from now. Oh, man, I wish I had Madden 95. Oh, well, it's only $100. That'd be stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I know. That'd if you be... can't sell them, there's only so long they're going to cart them around to shows and stuff before they're going to give up. True. But that would be stupid. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It would be. That's how the world works. I know. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. Yeah. Be sure to let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Find us on Facebook. Yeah. Give us a like there. Let us know that you like what we're doing. And you can always contact us there as well. And give us an idea for what you'd like to see in the future. Yeah, suggestions would be good. Mm -hmm. I like suggestions. Oh, see, I hit the microphone again. Nope, that was mine. I hit him with my chair. Oh, okay. I can't sit still. so. Yeah, Must that, that is true. Stay awake. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, well then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Now, what was it? We're going to get kicked off YouTube for Jazz Hands? Yeah, yeah. If we we're don't, done! <laughs> if we don't get kicked out for Jazz Hands, excessive Jazz Hands, <laughs> which is probably trademarked, so. We're going to get yanked off of YouTube. For copyright violation for Jazz Hands. Will we get yanked off if I do it, but then black out the word, word saying Jazz Hands? You have to black out your hands. Oh, so if I blur my hands and black out us saying the word Jazz Hands, we won't get barred? I don't know. I don't know if the word jazz hands or just the action. Mm. Ooh, I don't know. Just put up censored across there with that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, thanks for thanks. watching. Bye. Bye.